Hey everyone, so I made myself a little challenge. And that challenge was to make um, a traveler's notebook size journal. But I had to use everything that I had. Like I wasn't printing out any um, any kits. I wasn't uh, doing, you know, making anything. Like it had to be stuff that was already made, all my cards. So I dug into my stash and even got some things that um that I forgot about and I so I uh, dug in there and this is the result of that um you know it's a very it's a scrappy little traveler's notebook and I think it's kind of cute and um uh, let's show you what I did so this is just one of the bead dangles it's an old one that I have it's I don't make them like this anymore but I thought the colors worked well so I stuck this with it. Um, uh, so that that's the first thing that goes with it. Uh, these, I had made them a few days ago, um, but I thought a little flower on there would be perfect. And of course, some more butterflies and some uh, fabric that a friend of mine g gave me. Oh, so you got all kinds of things sticking to it. Um, a friend of mine gave me, and this, this piece is just tied like this so she's a scrappy little one and uh and it's it's a soft cover it's not it's not a hard cover it's uh, there's a file folder in there and then it's all it's you know i did the, uh, the pamphlet stitch on the side and there's a little key here from my stash where i made all my little rustic stuff for my underneath under the sea themed one and so that little key is, is stuck on there with a bulb pin. So this is all stuff that was in my stash. I made this little scrappy pocket out of fabric. And then this, these were things that I had made for other projects that lined up. I didn't put them in just because I had so much. And that's some Tim Holtz paper. And then some of my blue dyed paper. I think that one is blueberry. And just, you know, some cards that I had. There's a little button here. Hopefully I'm in frame properly. A little button there. And this is all all papers that I had. This little card. Different size. Yeah. Oh. Trailing a smuggler, a comic opera in capsule form. <laughs> kind of cute. Uh, this picture, uh, this is something I did print up recently because I'm going to look at doing a bohemian themed one. And this is from Tukes Craft Table Kit. And then I, I to make it uh, look old and like it's been around a while, I took some fine sandpaper and sandpapered the edges. And I stuck that in there. And this is just a piece that I had. And then there's a little bag, a little pocket. These, I did a, a thing a while back where I made the... Um, uh, the master board and I've never used the pieces so I thought you know they're they're grungy themes so I thought that I'd use them here I mean this is all different stuff that I had and then there's a little scrappy piece of papers to journal on and they get tucked into this little pocket here and some tags that I've had made a little doily and that's my, all my echo dyed paper that I did and then this is one of the napkins that's avocado, which comes out kind of pink. And it's just a it's just a large napkin that I doubled. I folded it over and then sewed around. And then another tag that I made previously. Another tag to turn on. And some paper. I uh, actually like this little wrinkle here. I thought it added to kind of making it feel like it's been around a bit, you know, and it's, it's getting really soft. Some Tim Holtz paper. And then this is also from that same project where I did the master board and put stuff on. I thought this went really well with it, uh, with the theme. It's nice and grungy. It's a very hard card. It's very thick. So it gets in there. And this is one of the clips I did with the, that I aged and made look like they were old. And some nice scrappy paper, and then a little tuck spot at the back here. And then this is just some uh, red onion paper. 
to, to journal on. Stuck in there. Another one, the other side of the napkin. A couple of little cards that I had made from before to journal on. And in here, some more little cards that I had in my stash. And I'll weave the road, take the trails. <laughs> that was kind of cute. And this side, some larger cards to journal on. I like the feathers. Very pretty. And then this is, this is the paper clip I did with the aging, making it look old. And then this is a little flip out. And on this side, in there, there are some other little tiny cards in here. That sounds cute. That's from Nick the Booksmith. Um, there, that's in there. Hold that closed. And this side, there's a faux old railway ticket and another little journal card. Back to the little corner there. And then this is just a, a pocket with some Tim Holtz paper and a little button and part of a railroad tag and some other little tags that I had in my stash already made. It's a whole bunch of them. And then more Tim Holtz paper. Little stuck, I'll get that glue off. And there's another at the back. I got uh, another little fabric pocket. I do put card inside the fabric, it's stitched up to it, so it does it is nice and stiff. And then these are two other um, things that were in my stash that I put in there, and there's a little, little ticket there as well. So that's my scrappy little kind of throw together. I wanted to do something uh, quick, it had to be quick. I did this in an afternoon. So I was a blur of frenzy trying to get this done. I was also running the errands in between things, so as well, um, and getting those done. And, and so that's this scrappy little one and I will be putting it up on my Etsy this afternoon after she has her photos taken. And uh, I hope you enjoyed my little thing. I, I, I enjoyed this, giving myself this little challenge to do something quick because a lot of times my journals do take time and I thought, you know, just a scrappy little traveler's notebook, something that you can just grab and take with you if you want. Uh, these come off, so if you don't want to take those with you, and um, you can take them off and you could also put them someplace else within the journal, but I thought it'd be something quick for somebody to take if they're going on a little vacation and summer's here. So it's time to, uh, when COVID finally seemed to be Getting under some control, perhaps we can uh, we can start traveling and and having some fun and stay safe, everybody. Anyway, have a good day. Bye.